Hello, we're just waiting for Eugenia to join. Hello. Hi, Chelsea. How are you? Good. How about you? I'm really good. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, everyone, for joining our live. Today, we'll be continuing our self-care week today. Um, and today, we have Eugenia Weston from um, Center Cosmetics. Of course, we all know her as the Brow Queen. But today, we will be going a little bit more in-depth about her skincare line. Um, so before we start, thank you, Eugenia, for joining us. Um, but I also wanted to um, ask you, in line with our self-care week, what do you do for self-care? Is there anything you do to kind of help center yourself, um, help kind of relieve any stress? I know you must have a very busy <laughs> work week and everything like that. So is there any rituals that you like to do? Um. Well, I like to do um, Pilates. I like to work. I mean, I just love to go into my. I love to go into my makeup studios and work with my clients. It's all. It's like my Zen time. It really. It really is. I really love helping people with their beauty needs, with their skincare, with their makeup. You know, I really like to listen to them and just help them. I think I have a very intuitive way of dealing with the needs of people, and I'm usually pretty much right on with everybody i you know i i really enjoy that part of it i feel yeah i'm definitely the self um the same way um especially being an esthetician it's like i think skincare is self-care and definitely mm -hmm. also being able to help people i think is amazing mm -hmm. well that's how i started in this business just doing what i do and people you know love the result and they it made them feel really good and you know it's it's re it's rewarding for them and for me exactly. and for us exactly. and for yeah. us <laughs> in our profession exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, awesome. So let's dive into your skincare. Um, is there? Um, it's definitely I love that it is also created by an artist and as well as for artists and really for everyone. Um, could you go a little bit more um, in depth about? Um, why you created um, these products um, and if there's like any like what do you felt like um, you're trying to fill? Well, okay, so when I started doing makeup uh, 51 years ago, <laughs> which is like, gosh, I can't even believe it's been a half a century. Um, being a makeup artist, I always was so into perfect skin. I <laughs> I always felt, of course, that the perfect skin was the greatest canvas, so you didn't have to do so much correction on skin. Definitely. So I really was always uh, looking for ways and products and ingredients that would work on skin so that I could allow my makeup on my clients to look really, really good. So I started to come up with products, but my mother was a bit of a... I think she was like my first influence alchemist. She, we used to have books and articles and we used to make our own skincare. Mm, I love that. So it's like, I always, you know, fooled around with, with, with ingredients and products. And then I tested it on all my friends and every, whoever would, you know, come in to my presence and <laughs> it would work. Things, things would work and it would make their skin better. And then I put the makeup on and they would look great. So I really feel that, you know, researching and studying and then all the experience that I have working with so many people. I have worked with thousands and thousands of people just, you know, seeing what their skin conditions are and then dealing with, you know, the different or collaborating with the different labs 
and all the newest ingredients and just basically creating products that work for skin in a very okay. simple way. I didn't want it very complicated. Exactly. Because, I mean, I think now there's so much out there. I think everybody was just so confused, right? So I wanted to make a very meaningful, no-nonsense tried and true reliable product that's simple easy to use and it works and it works okay. and it works for your skin as a daily regime and it also works under makeup for the makeup artist because i'm a makeup artist at heart that's my first love yes. artistry so the the skin care had to work under makeup and i can talk more about that as we get into the products Yes, of course. And um, that's definitely what I always tell people, even here at the showroom. I just love that. It's just, like you said, like no non nonsense. It straight up says clearly what it is, what it's used for, the main ingredients as well, because I feel like we are forever reading ingredient labels mm -hmm. and trying to decide, okay, well, really, what is the main ingredient here? What is actually going into my skin? And like you said, like there's so many products out there especially now it's just launch after launch and it's so hard to really tell what you're getting out of your skincare so it's that's overkill really why. Yes. and i think what people are doing when the newest thing comes out they go oh i better try this not knowing exactly is that really going to work for my skin yeah. what is my skin it? what is my skin condition and what do I really need for my skin? And that's where when they come into my Senna makeup studio and they go into camera ready cosmetics, you can really advise them what's good for their skin and what's going to work <laughs> instead of them just buying all this product. Exactly. And then it's so wasteful and it's, you know, it's just yeah, it's overkill. Exactly. Like buying like, let's say like five cleansers. I just <laughs> love how it just tells you exactly what it does. Like it's just very easy. I think for everyone to understand from like, skincare newbies from you know fully immersed skincare enthusiasts or even makeup artists who might not have all the knowledge for mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. about skincare it's just really for everyone which i enjoy yeah thank you yeah yeah i want it to be for everyone and being in business for 51 years i guess something's working right we're, <laughs> we're, it's like we're we're able to make of products that that I know work for people and people don't get reactions from it you know they they I I keep them very very basic and I don't use fragrant a lot of fragrance I'll use essential oils and just things I don't like a lot of smells because I think it conflicts with people's fragrances that they wear every day exactly. on themselves I want it to be very just very easy and and neutral very neutral exactly exactly mm -hmm. awesome so Let's start with um, your oil-free makeup remover. Oh, Reggie is on. Oh, my God, Reggie Wells. How are you? Oh, man, Reggie. You got to follow Reggie. He was mm -hmm. He's Oprah's makeup oh. artist and many more. He's amazing. Wow, ah. yeah, Reggie, thanks for joining. And thanks, everybody, for joining. <laughs> we appreciate it. <laughs> awesome. So, so, yes, let's start with your oil-free makeup remover. Oh. Okay, well, why I devised this was I devised this product in the 70s when I first started my makeup line because as a makeup artist, when you make mistakes on your makeup, you do not want to use something that has oil in it mm -hmm. because then you can't continue on with your makeup. Exactly. So this is an oil-free makeup remover, especially used around the eye area with your chamomile and aloe. So you know that it's going to be soothing around that eye area. It's not going to sting or burn. And it just whisks off any type of makeup. In fact, let me just put some, let me put something on and show you just to demonstrate how easy it takes off makeup and it being so gentle. So as a makeup artist, of course, we needed a product that we could, you know, whisk off, you know, any, any exactly. type of mistake we made, but we had to go on with the makeup. Also, I have clients that use it all over their faces. They love it so much yes. because it is oil free mm -hmm. and it's just so clean feeling. Like so as they'll a use it. I think definitely. Yeah, they'll use it all over their face to cleanse with, even though I don't, I mean, I like a cleanser, a real mm -hmm. cleanser like we have. So here oh. are, like, here's an eyeliner and a blush. And look at instant. Yeah. It just comes 
it's right off and it's so clean and nothing nothing will inhibit you going on here's the pencil again watch it's dry i can go on and just continue and it's fine that is what's so great about it and it will be it, it will still have the same integrity of just a clean bare skin exactly. so this is i mean i came out with this before the micellar waters i mean it is it's kind of a version of that mm -hmm. but it doesn't have oil in it and that is what is very important for a makeup artist Definitely. no oil so you can fix and continue and no residue and no residue and that is important for us as makeup artists we can't have the residues to interfere with the makeup design that we're doing. So we exactly. have to have oil free and it's so gentle. Like I say, it doesn't sting the eyes or anything. It takes off your eye makeup um, and all of the, not, I wouldn't say that it takes off waterproof, but mm -hmm. because it is water, it's oil free because you need something that has a little bit of a creaminess to it to take off um, waterproof or yes. long wear. Um, but I will tell you what I do with this. And this is really important. Very, very, very important that I discovered. Okay, tight lining. Tight lining. I've been tight lining since the 60s. I learned it from Way Bandy, right? Mm -hmm. So when you tight line, you get that liner stuck up in your eyelashes. And now the tight liners are the liners you want are waterproof. You want the really long wear one yes, so that it doesn't transfer, right? So when you keep wearing that over and over again and really push it into your lashes, what happens is it gets caught up in the follicles. And if you do not, even after you cleanse and remove and wash, you will still have residue. What I suggest, and it's so important, and I discovered this many, many, many years ago when I wasn't doing this. I was losing eyelashes. I had big gaps. I wouldn't even wear mascara. And one what happened was <laughs> my eyesight got bad so what i did was i i bought a 10 times mirror uh -huh. and when i bought a 10 times mirror and i'd look in it after i wash my face i go oh my gosh i have i still have residue yeah <gasps> so i took my oil-free makeup remover went up in there and i got so much blackout i wasn't clean because you can't get up in there yeah. Without a, a Q-tip. You just can't. A cotton swab. You just can't. I suggest anybody that tight lines, you've got to go back with your oil-free makeup remover, with your cotton swab, get in there. And I turned so many clients onto that at my makeup studios because their eyelashes were falling out too. Their eyelashes started growing back. And would you, you say have got to get up in there with this product and get all that residue out. Would you say this would be also good for people who have lash extensions too, since it is oil-free? Yes, free? absolutely. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Yes, excellent because there's no oil in it. Yes, and it won't dislodge the lashes. Yeah, for lash extensions, awesome. absolutely. Love, love, love this product. Can't live without it. I just, I've had it forever. It works. It's amazing. Must have, a must have. I love that. Let's mm -hmm. now get into your cleansers. I okay. love that we have a cream, a foaming, and as well as an exfoliating cleanser. Well, cleansing to me is the most important step. Even if Definitely. you don't wear makeup, because there's pollution in the air. We wear sunscreens, we wear uh, creams, we wear all this uh, firming serums and all this. You need to cleanse your skin. And what I have always believed in is two-step cleansing. So what we Definitely. start with is a cream cleanser. This is a product that is so gentle and beautiful. It, again, it has a chamomile and aloe because you do want to use it around the eye area. This will remove long wear makeup and waterproof makeup. It is creamy, but it is so, so gentle. It is... Um, it has sodium hyaluronic in it as well. And we know My how wonderful sodium hyaluronic is, right? My favorite. So I believe in two-step cleansing. First of all, you must remove your makeup. You must remove the makeup. And I always, I love using gauze, gauze pads. And oh, you just you. need a little bit of your cleanser. I have, I have nothing, guys, I have nothing. I have gone bare face for you guys today. I have nothing on my face because I want to 
you know, show you oh, exactly your skin how is amazing. works. Well, because I've been using my Senna skincare <laughs> for 50 years. <laughs> so it just, it's so creamy and it takes everything off. So the first step is you must dislodge and remove the makeup. So you want to massage it all over your skin and make sure that you always get all your eye makeup off. It's going to be great around the eye area. It's so soothing and creamy and it just glides on and massages all the makeup off. So that's the first step. And again, it's very gentle to be used on all skin types because the next step is washing. So you remove, you cleanse as far as dislodging the, the makeup, your skincare, the pollution you've had all day long. And then you must wash. You must wash. You don't want to just get in the shower or at your sink and just take a cleanser to wash. You mm -hmm. must remove the makeup first because this gets deeper into the pores because it does have the ingredients that draw out the impurities mm -hmm. and you massage it so it really brings out all the toxins and all that. Then you must wash it off. You must wash it off. So that's what's important. I have been doing two-step cleansing ever since high school when I was in drama mm -hmm. because I wore so much makeup in all the productions. And you couldn't just take a wash yeah. and wash it. You would still have makeup on. Yeah. So that is when we discovered two-step cleansing. And, of course, in those days, we used Abilene. That yeah. was what all the theatrical people used. So we would just really yeah. massage it in yeah. and then we would wash off. And we would, so that would ensure that all the makeup was out of your pores and your eyes and everything. But of course now we've evolved mm -hmm. and we have of course very highly effective, highly evolved formulations that are so <laughs> much better for your skin. I so like, that's- um... I like comparing it to, um, for people to understand a little bit more, like saying sweeping before you mop, kind of. Before you, you what? Know, sweeping before you mop. You want to oh. take off everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a Kind of, you know, taking off that makeup for to do, and then with your second cleanser is where you would kind of mop that, everything. That's a great analogy. That is a great analogy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Then you want to wash. And I have two washes that are just incredible. We have the foaming wash, which is a very gentle wash. So people that have um, sensitive skins, it has the blue lotus flower in it. So it's very calming and soothing. It has a shea butter, which we know is highly nourishing and moisturizing for the skin. And it has zeolite, which is a mineral that actually absorbs, you know, excess oil and debris, but it's very gentle. And one thing I do want to say about our cleansers, a lot of times when um, people have washed with uh, cleansers such as a gel cleanser like this, mm -hmm. they say, well, you know, my skin feels dry and tight. Or tight, yeah. This does not. This has such an amazing formulation that afterwards it doesn't feel like a lot of the gel cleansers feels like feel like you've just washed your face with like soap. Yeah, this is that type, you know, it's like, yeah, it's just it, like it sucks everything out of your skin. This will not, it doesn't have sulfates in it, so it's just so oh, right. it's so just glides and gentle and creamy. It is just it's amazing, and it's just this beautiful gel that is just so so effective. It, it's so effective because I've tested everything, and you know, my clients would tell me, you know, in my makeup studios, no, this isn't working. I test on all, they're all my guinea pigs. So I will not put a product in production until I know it works. Of course. Until I know it works. So this is our very gentle wash for people that have sensitive skins, that are you know highly blemished. Um, it's very soothing and gentle to the face. So that's first step. Now the second wash I have, which happens to be my favorite, because I I exfoliate I, I exfoliate a lot. Me too. I exfoliate a lot. And I really feel that um, people are uh, sometimes afraid of too much exfoliation. I mean, depending on your skin and you're an esthetician. So, you know, I mean, I exfoliate every day. I'm, I, I, I really, yeah. <laughs> I have tough skin. You know, my marketing director said you could use Ajax on your skin and nothing would happen. I go, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> but anyway, this my exfoliating cleanser is, oh, I love this cleanser. I have used this cleanser for decades. I love, love, love. It has triple fruit acids. It fades discolorations. It resurfaces the skin. It makes your skin glow. It has salicylic, lactic, and glycolic acid, but in in a very mild way. Yes. It's not strong, but the tr the trick is with this product. The beauty of this product, it has jojoba beads. And we know what I jojoba noticed that. beads. Jojoba beads are in this. You can, you can. I know it's hard to see, but if you look at this closely, if you order it, it's got little micro jojoba beads. So what that does, it balances the formulation, meaning when you're washing, they burst and they hydrate and balance the acids. So your skin is not going to be dry. Mm -hmm. It is such a remarkable product. It happens to be my best selling wash. But what I do, because you wanted to know what I do, I cocktail them every <laughs> night. I do a pump in the morning and night. I do a pump of each and I cocktail yeah. them. I cocktail them. I've been doing that for years. I do I that just... with my skincare too. Just kind of do a little personalized experience with it. Like depending on how I feel that day, how my skin yeah. is doing that day, I definitely do that all the time too. So that's good to know that um, yeah. with your cleansers, you are also able to do that, that the formulations are able to coexist. Yes, you cocktail, really well. it's great. So two-step cleansing, remove, wash. Very, very important to healthy, beautiful, well, well, beautiful, well-being skin, I should say, well-being, wellness skin, wellness skin, like skin spa skin. Yes. It'll make I your skin that. like a skin spa, really. Yes, you know, and like I do been... love the subtle scent that each one has as well. It's not too oh, yeah. The grapefruit. Yeah, the yes. grapefruit is amazing. Oh, awesome. amazing. So I did, have favorite... a I did also have a question. Um, if you could, um, what would you say would be the difference between your moisture mist and um, your toners? Would you say that you um, would use either or, or would you be able to pair the moisture mist um, with the toners? Or is there a moment where you feel like it's better suited um, that someone uses the moisture mist versus one of the toners? Well, the, the moisture mist is more like an essence. Okay. It's more like a revitalizing essence. Uh -huh. And of course, it does have the beautiful ingredients, it, you know, it has your aloe, your beta gluten, so it does improve firmness of the skin, it has your cactus flower stem, your uh, your cactus stem, and your cactus flower so that it fights UV damage. Oh, I love that. to have this, I love to keep this in my car, I spray throughout the day. Oh, me too to refresh it has your your deep sea extract it has your essential oils which is your lavender your clary sage and your orange which really revitalize when you spray it on mm. <laughs> lavender mm. is my favorite you just so you just feel that lavender, you, I'm you, all just, about. You, you just feel it you just feel it but you can use it on a cotton swab as a toner okay. but i will tell you what i do at night I use the clarifying toner because again, okay, since I am, I feel <laughs> like an exfoliation queen, right? <laughs> you know, the clarifying toner has salicylic acid in it. Uh -huh. So it does have that, it, it does exfoliate. But one thing it has is totorol, which is stronger than tree tea oil. So it's good mm. for blemishes on the skin. It has witch hazel, which is a natural astringent. Definitely. And it has niacinamide. Oh, niacinamide, niacinamide B3, which is the hottest. It's, it's a, yes. <laughs> yeah, right. We know right what. Right now, it's used. So it brightens, it strengthens the tissue. It's great for maskne. Yes. This is what you need nice for maskne because it is strong. It is strong, I will tell you. So somebody that has super sensitive skin, I wouldn't suggest it. I use it every day. I am. I use it every <laughs> night. And I, I've gotten some breakouts from the mask wearing, so it helps to heal that. So blemish-prone skin amazing and if you need some extra exfoliation like that top layer of scaly skin or whatever yes. it really helps it. it really helps it yes yes somebody asked if you can spray it in the afternoon um 
if yeah you can spray it oh, yeah absolutely you can spray it during the day absolutely and, and what you actually... know i put i put sunscreen on once i don't put sunscreen on throughout the day because then i put my makeup on over it seals everything in so i don't need to okay. um uh, reapply sunscreen mm -hmm. unless you don't wear any yeah. foundation but I'll get into that because I think foundation is a necessity. I think foundation does have a layer of protection that is important yeah. for the wellness of skin. I really do. So this, okay. So the clarifying, like I say, it's, 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 it's strong. I would not, don't use it around your eyes because it has salicylic acid, the witch yeah, hazel. It, it's strong. It's strong. But again, I love strong products on my <laughs> 72 year old skin, which I don't think it's bothered that much, you know? Yeah. So, you know, I love I it. I like it. I also um, am very prone to like hormonal stress related acne. I definitely get it right around here all the time. So definitely yes. um, I do love it for that. Yes, yes. And that is where that's it related to the female organs, this area of yeah. the face. So yes, if you have any breakouts, de definitely dab that on. It, it works. It works. So then in the morning, I will go ahead and use my soothing toner or if I'm feeling irritated. This is a really remarkable, beautiful product because it is so gentle. It has royal jelly and mm -hmm. fennel. So it's it's super nourishing and super soothing to the skin. It has your pomegranate pomegranate seed extract and which is a vitamin C. Vitamin C. Ooh. Yes, that's what pomegranate seed extract has. And it's just, I'm going to use that right now because, you know, I've already used my clarifying toner last night. So I always go in in the morning before I do my makeup. And you can even use it on your eyelids, oh. right around your eyes. It's so hydrating and nourishing. Definitely go right around the eye area. Don't forget the neck. Don't forget oh, your neck. Not. <laughs> Don't forget your neck. And it just brings hydration to the skin before you start with your serums. Yes. Yes. Very. That. It's also a sensitive skin um, friendly type of vitamin C that it has. I know um, vitamin C can sometimes be irritating to some people with sensitive skin, but I love that it's definitely formulated. People no, because it's have. it's because it's in the pomegranate. Yes, it's, it's, I love it's that. not exact. It's not the pure C. It's mm -hmm. in the pomegranate. It it contains that. It contains that. So that's what you do. You start with that, and it is. It's very soothing and hydrating for the skin, and um, it's it's very important to use a toner. You know, toners are really underrated. I know that they yeah. have, they've gained popularity, but really before, you know, a few years ago, people people would skip toner. All the they time, would, all the time. They would skip toner all the time. And I don't, I think that it is such a necessary step not to skip toner because it really sets up your skin. I think so too. Because, because it has a high water content, water is a transporter. So what it does, it helps transport active ingredients into the skin of your serums. Exactly. And you I want them to work. That's I think what it allows the product to work. Yes, it, it definitely allows your serums, your moisturizers to act, um, actually go deeper into your skin and for you to get the most out of it. Yeah. Um, I kind of also, another little analogy, I like to say like when you imagine a dry sponge and like a wet sponge and you put dish soap, the dish soap kind of sits right on top of a dry sponge, whereas when it's a wet sponge, it really soaks into it. Your, so I analogy, like, your analogies are fabulous. <laughs> thank the, you, the thank dirt, you. The I tried. The broom and the sweep of the dirt. And this yes. that, that is great. That is perfect. <laughs> it is perfect. Thank you. Um, so let's talk about um, how you would layer these two. The firming serum, which again has my favorite ingredient, hyaluronic acid, and then um, the sea algae cream, which is honestly. <gasps> Where is my, my firming serum? Oh my God. Okay, guys. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know why? Because I use I was going to use it this morning. Wait, I have to go get it. Do you mind? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, I have one here. Hold on. Awesome. Hold on. I have it in my pre my other. Oh, show the bottle. Awesome. Yes, I will. Okay, there you go. Because I have <laughs> this. This so is a production sample. <laughs> ah, so it has hyaluronic. It also oh. has bamboo. Very nice. Oh, yes. Yeah. It has all of that. It, it is. Well, dropper. 
It and has a dropper. Very thick. Very you nice. don't. You only need one drop. Ah. You only need one drop. It is so so viscal, viscous. It just yes. spreads. Yes. And when you apply it, I apply it in the center of the face, going upward, and on the neck. Don't forget the neck. Never forget the neck. Never. Look, it just, I only needed that one drop. It goes on your whole face. Very, oh, yeah, because I'm it just. I'm a extremely dry person. So anything with hyaluronic acid, I am all for. And definitely, I find that I don't need to use multiple drops with this. Which no, is very you, rare for someone who is extremely dry. You don't. You don't. And you don't want too much anyway, because you don't want to suffocate. I mean, you just, yeah. well, you don't need too much. You know, that's the thing. You, you just don't need too much of this product. And you can feel after you let it sit for a minute, you should let it sit for like, you know, a 30 seconds to a minute. You can feel the tightening. Mm. You can feel, I feel, I feel the tightening. It starts tightening. Yes, definitely. And you can feel it because, it, of course, the um, bamboo, which is the anti-aging and tightening ingredient, and, of course, your hyaluronic acid. So that, you know, that has a larger molecule, so it helps to seal in more moisture and plump the skin and Definitely. renew. Definitely. So that is that step, which is really, really an important and it step. Immediately this year. gives you that glow, also. Yeah, it immediately gives you the glow. Then the next product is I always use the eye cream next, and I know yeah. we're doing a giveaway. Yes, we are doing a gift with purchase with the eye cream on any um Senna skincare purchase. Yes. Uh, while supplies last, definitely another favorite. Um, but I do like that you layer it before the moisturizer. That totally makes sense. So you, you get want the it whole right on. You know, even though I put the serum all the way up, you always want to use the eye cream next. Mm -hmm. This eye cream is and very thin and fluid again. Okay, the sculpting eye cream, and I put it on the lids and all around the eye area with my ring finger. And yes. I always go around like this. And it's thin, it has peptides too. And it has your oh apple peptides. stem cell, which is from Switzerland. It has your Swiss apple mm. stem cell. But what is so special about, and of course, sodium hyaluronic. Uh, okay, it has right. your sodium hyaluronic, olive oil. It has your fennel extract, so it even helps to reduce puffiness. And why I de developed this was because you need to use an eye cream under concealer, but you need to use an eye cream under concealer that doesn't allow your concealer to get too cake greasy exactly. and slide off. Exactly. It has to stay. So this is why I developed this very, very thin but effective version of eye cream. It is amazing. And it has your lavender. So it just, it just, it, the smell is just delicious. It just makes you feel alive and beautiful. But the reason, the apple stem cell is is really important in the rejuvenation of that delicate skin around the eye area. And, you know, some of my clients say, oh, I just use my moisturizer, you know, new client, yeah. only new, new client. <laughs> they always do that. They I always said, do that. No, no, no. Eye creams are specifically made differently, different okay. ingredients and different delivery systems to use around the eye area because the skin around orifices is, it has no pores. Exactly all orifices, no pores. It's a different kind of skin because it has to be very flexible because we're always moving and it, and it's always expressing. So you have to use something very different. And the apple stem cell from Switzerland was developed through this specific apple that they had noticed that when it fell off the tree, it, it wouldn't rot. So the yeah. scientists took that apple and, um, studied it and found that the apple stem cells had longevity and renewal and they 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 never broke down so they um used it 
use it in skincare and we use it in our eye cream because this area really needs extra help always. The yes. eye area always needs your extra help. I know in and, the showroom, I'm sorry. Um, I know in the showroom, every time someone comes in, they're like, I want to cover my dark circles under eyes. I always pair it this and I find it just leaves a beautiful finish. Thank you. Yes, yes. And I made it to work under concealer because I'm a makeup artist. All exactly. the products that I have created work under makeup and that it, it works synergistically with co uh, with cosmetics. And that is my goal because I'm a makeup artist and I, you know, I got to put the makeup on. I don't, I don't go out of the house without makeup. I, I never go out of the house <laughs> without foundation. I think foundation is so important for the skin because it's also a protective layer over Definitely. the skin and it makes you it makes you look better exactly <laughs> it just makes you look better so then the next product which is this is our top seller this oh, is our top definitely. seller which is our c algae cream i love this it one. is i tell you i can't keep this in stock because it is so well balanced it has your red marine algae which firms increases cell turnover. It has your QoQ10. It has your vitamins A and E, which are anti-aging, antioxidant. It has your sodium hyaluronic. So Again. you know it plumps, <laughs> it hydrates, it holds at thousand times its weight in water. It also has your rose hips, which has more vitamin C than vitamin C. It has so much more and it has a special ingredient for redness. So this is why it is so good for people that have irritated skin have rosacea, uh, different types of skin problems, horse chestnut. It reduces redness. I and like of course, the, I feel the, like it's really made for a wide variety of skin types. Um, every skin type. I yes. want it for every skin type because this is what I use under everybody's makeup. Everybody's yes. makeup, I use this. And product. it's so lightweight, but I don't feel like it's something like usually with my skin, it immediately sucks up moisture. But with this, I feel like I still have that moisture without it being too heavy or too thick. Yeah, because I don't like a heavy moisturizer under makeup. I have to have just the right exact texture exactly. under makeup. And this is it. We worked on this really hard so that it was a perfect balance. Because, you know, when I first started my makeup line, I had a cream and I had a light lotion and all that. I said, I want to fuse the two together. I just exactly. want one. I want it light enough, but super effective enough for dry skin, oily skin, all skins. And of course, don't forget the neck. Of course, don't never. Don't forget the neck. And this is your base under your makeup. And you're going to have a highly effective moisturizer that is going to renew and make your skin look better. Yeah, I, and then it has your bergamot which is the the smell. It, yes, Bergamot I knew we noticed a nice scent. Yeah, that is an orange tree from Italy. Oh. I'm, Ital I'm Italian, so that's why, I, <laughs> that's why I use that. And it smells so good. Just it smells does. so good. It's definitely a unique scent, too. I don't feel like I've ever smelled that mm -hmm. in any skincare product that I've ever used before. So I love that. No, you don't. You've only smelled it in uh, Bergamot in a tea. <laughs> 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 Bergamot tea. Yeah. Yeah. It's really great. Beautiful. So now I am ready. I'm ready to put on my foundation. And I'll just put a little on so you guys can see how this look how it looks underneath. How the skincare works underneath my foundation. Of course. I feel like with skin um skin prep it just helps your makeup go on smoother, less steps with, like you said, like with correction, um, yes. less kind of adjusting, like it just makes the whole process a lot smoother and a lot quicker. Oh yeah, you have to do the right skin prep, you have to, definitely, exactly. definitely, definitely. So here, oh God, this brush, let me use it. And I think also like less retouching too, if people do, you know, photo shoots and all that. Oh yeah, well you need, <laughs> You, you know, I don't, once I have my makeup on, I don't touch my face the whole day. My makeup is exactly the same when I put it on as when I take it off at night. And, you know, I have pretty long days. 
Oh, I buy it. I buy it. Yeah. And then, of course, you want to apply your concealer. And I made the eye cream specifically for concealer to set on it so that you're you're hydrated but it's not too greasy exactly. so that your concealer does not slide off it stays in place and you don't get like that dry like crepiness underneath i feel like that's right a lot of people struggle with where it can look you can just kind of see where the concealer is sitting and the eye cream definitely helps with melting that with um in oh yeah so you can see the finish you know, oh. one side to the other. And, of course, I have to set my concealer with my favorite product, Secret Set, <laughs> which is my talc-free. I made it specifically for under the eye area to set because you do want to set your concealer. And then, of course, we'll put on you know, a little color. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Awesome. And my skin is all prepared hydrated, plump. I'm not going to get any creasing. It's going to, you know, allow my makeup to last all day. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I use it on set. I'm doing a photo shoot on Friday. I'm doing five models for a campaign we're doing. I mean, I will prep the skin with what we've shown you today. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's I love be it great. all. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, Definitely, it's been lovely to have you. I hope we get to meet, um, see you again in the future with another IG Live. Maybe we can go over more of your cosmetics, your brow products, but it has been such a pleasure um, having you here and learning more about skincare. I feel like I can just go on and on about I skincare know. forever. Like, so it's always nice to um, speak about skincare with someone else who is as um, enjoyed of, um, of it as much as I am. Yeah, you're so passionate. I'm passionate. And I love your analogies. You need to yes, write a little, little book of analogies. They're so great. And you know what? It makes such sense that it just like more. you go, wow, you know, and that, you know what? Customers, clients and people need to hear it that way. It, it yes. just, it, 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 you know, it. It's, I think it's easier resonates. for people to understand yeah. why you need to do certain things because it's so overwhelming. And especially with people who don't know where to start, those little yes. analogies always help. Yeah, it's great. Well, thank you, Chelsea, of so course. much for having thank me. You, and thanks, thanks everybody for of joining. Course. And um, I Don't hope forget that I have, yes. Oh, <laughs> and this is a $40 value. Yes. And you got $40 the value. You're getting this complimentary <laughs> with any of your products that you buy today, correct? Yes. And oh with any gosh. skincare product, um, you'll get a full size. Oh and my God! You got to get the exfoliating cleanser. You yes. got it. This is the best. You've got to get the oil free. <laughs> oh Just my get God! It all. It's like I, you know, I can't <laughs> live without those products. They're so great. So, awesome. thank you all. Of okay, course. you have a great day, you and um, I'll see you again. Okay. Bye. Bye.